light shall bring victory. Better with Deadline last. I don't need two mind blast cards. I don't really need this either. Nothing's gonna have five attack early game. I'll keep that though because I want the taunt thing. All right, cool. Got that Lepernome. All right, so I have moves here. At least a little bit. Got a divine spirit. And turn there. <laughs> That's fine if he wants to do that. I want to summon that, and I want to make it buff this. I'm going to go ahead and mind blast. I really have nothing else. I have no other cards I can use right now. Next turn, I can summon this jungle panther. Which will be helpful. Anyways, you know, take can. Oh, that's not a good card to draw this early on. That's okay. I feel like for this card, I might as well, if I attack, if I, I don't want to trade a 2 damage or a 4 damage. So if she summons a taunt monster, I can, I'll just kill it. If she summons, if she just summons a regular monster. What to do? What to do? Secret? I've never seen one of those before. I have no idea what that means. I have absolutely no idea. Mm. I was gonna double... I was gonna make this into like a 6-10 taunt monster with this combo, but I don't know yet. Maybe I shouldn't. I must consider. No, let's just do this. Oh, uh, what happened? Where's the opponent? There's a minion summoned a copy of it. Okay. The sun well. All right, that's fine. So he can kill this with this. So it does three damage. Oh, or I can just boss build. That's kind of a weird call, but okay. Kill that. TC what does this thing do? Do the opponent's four more minions? Oh, well I don't. Shane, we need to attack me as hell. Let's go ahead and summon this. Ah, get behind me. And stop there. I wonder. It might be worth it to like summon a molten giant at one point, double its health, and then activate this. It'll only have eight damage or health, but it'll have sixteen damage, which is a lot. Alright. Pass me that arc light spanner. I have to get some stuff on the field though, so. I am the blade of the gods. Hmm. At least this thing will. It can absorb both of their attacks from what she has on the field right now. I have to watch out too, because she also has fireballs, which do six damage, I'm guessing, in her deck. Yep, right there. Oh, it does 7 damage? I have no idea why. It's 6 damage when I played mage. Oh, another one of these stupid secrets. It's gotta be the same card. So, I have to watch that, because it's gonna copy whatever I do. Ooh, do I want to pop Shadow Form? I could pop Shadow Form. I don't want to use Battlecraft without something on the field already. I'm gonna use Shadow Form, because it'll help me kill these things. Now I can kill that. I'll just end my turn there. I don't want to use... Like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to summon this without something to give its battle cry to. I mean, I'd love to give the battle cry to this, but I'd have to get hit a lot. I'd have to lose, like, ten more life. Uh, before that's even a possibility. What to do? And I already know that this thing's going to be 
a summon. It's gonna summon whatever I summon probably. So I have to summon something weak first because I don't want her like I don't want to summon this and give her this eight eight molten giant. Any character damage by this minion is thrown. Okay. I think I'm gonna shadow a death at so that way none of my stuff gets frozen. I can't play that. Why can't I play this? Oh, it's five more attack. Oops, okay. Alrighty. I have nothing I can play. I mean I I don't wanna just give them more damage. like I guess I have to summon this. I don't want to, but I don't really have too much of a choice. You call that a well. <laughs> That's not a valid target. I can't give do I have to? Can I give it to itself? No. I guess I can't summon this without another monster to give its battle cry to. Which means I can't summon anything, which means I'm just dead, kind of. I'm gonna take a lot of damage on this next turn. Might as well hit her. I can't kill either of these monsters. Uh, I'm gonna take, what, seven damage here? Something like that? Maybe I shouldn't have swapped a shadow form. Actually, okay, what I can do... Taking damage isn't that bad, because I can summon this Molten Giant. Even if this copies it, I can instantly kill it with Shadow and Death. Yeah, that's what I can do. So I can summon this Molten Giant. Taking a lot of damage here isn't that bad, to be honest. It's really not. Because if I take five more... This will only be a five-star monster. That's not that bad. Oh, and I can give it taunt? Okay, so let's summon this. I'm gonna guess that that's gonna activate this, am I right? I was wrong. Oh, Christ. What the hell does that mean? Well, there goes this whole strategy. I'm gonna double. I'm gonna give this more damage. We're gonna go ahead and do that. I have no idea why I did that, to be honest. Okay, never mind. I thought I had ten. I thought I had one more crystal. I wanted to play this. Um, the match was just gonna end my turn. <laughs> Whatever. I wasted that mana thing. I thought I had more. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal to be honest. Even if he attacks with all three of those things, it won't kill me. It won't be able to kill my thing. He can do a lot of damage to my hero here, though. He can do what seven or eight damage again, which is a problem. I can kill, this turn I can kill, hmm. Water Elemental. I can kill a lot of his stuff this turn though. Oh, I don't know if I can attack if I'm frozen. He doesn't have anything with five or more attack. Oh wow, and he just froze that mice. Hmm. I'm actually in trouble. Okay, I can summon this and give it taunt. Okay, actually, I might not be that bad. We can double it. We can double it again. Then we can give it taunt. I can... Can I use this? Okay, I can. I have no idea what freezing my hero does. And I might as well play this. So now it has 28-28. So... He has no way to kill through that. Unless he has a card in his hand. If he has like a Shadow of Death card like I do, I just lose if he has one of these in his hand. This, like I'll lose. If I, if I lose this card, I lose the game. If I don't lose this card, I, I win next hand. I hit him, I'll hit him for 28 and just kill his hero straight out. If he, if he doesn't have a taunt and he doesn't... Or if his taunt has more than 5 health or attack. What to do? What to do? Oh, actually, that's gonna freeze it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Huh. How annoying. I don't think there's a way to unfreeze cards. I know I don't have a way to do it, if there is one. He can keep shooting stuff at it, though. If he wants to throw all his cards away, that's fine with me. I'm gonna kill that next hand. Oh, that's, wow, that's actually really smart, to attack it yourself so that way it gains damage. 
But I'm just gonna actually use this on that. I can use that there to kill it. Then I can pop that on him. That on him. And then attack there. Okay, that was the secret. Oh my god, I'm glad I did that. Wow, that is lucky. Alright, he conceded because of that. If he hadn't frozen... If he hadn't frozen my Molten Giant, to be honest, I would have attacked with it to just win the game. Because I didn't even know that card existed. I had no idea at all that there was a card that when I attacked him it would attack me back. It would kill my card. I had no clue that existed. So, I'm quite glad that, uh, that I attacked with that thing first because he froze it. So now I know, though, that if he has a secret card up to attack with something weak first, if possible. I didn't think... I, for a minute I was like, oh, it's a secret, maybe it does something when I attack him directly, but then I used that, the shadow or death, the shadow attack from my, uh, priest. Undoing. Didn't do it enough.